Hello everyone and welcome to Wine Raccoon. Today we have Pédoc, The Starry Night. This is a Merlot from France. It is a 2019. And this is supposed to have notes of plum, cassis, and hints of spice and chocolate from oak. So let's go ahead and take this one for a spin. The first thing that hits me are those spices, a little bit on the side of the tongue. Um, I do get plum kind of on the back of the tongue, but at the same time that I get that plum, I get that cassis. It really depends on who you talk to, what cassis tastes like. Um, it can be like a licorice flavor, it can taste like a cigar, um, but for, for me it's it is almost more of that like tobacco-y flavor um, because I, I get that hit on the back of the tongue with that flavor. So that's what I'm, I think that's where I'm getting that Cassis from. Um, I'm kind of interested to see if I can pin down that chocolate flavor. Sometimes you have to take a few sips, especially if it's a very subtle flavor. As I'm drinking, I'm looking for it. Boom, I do get a little bit of that chocolate flavor on the sides of the tongue. That's really fun. Um, yeah, this, this has more of that, more of those tannins. Um, it's not necessarily dry in that it, it, doesn't, nece it doesn't necessarily make my mouth feel dry. But it has those tannins where it's like, it hits you and it's like this, it's like a smokiness um, and it kind of makes your mouth feel a little dry, but then it goes away. Um, it doesn't linger at all. So just know that it does have those different aspects to it. It's got the spice flavor that's intended to be a flavor of the wine. It has that cassis, which for me is like a tobacco-y flavor on the back of the tongue. And then overall, it has those tannins, that bit of like a, almost like a smokiness. So um, be aware of that with this wine in particular. Um, but you do get the, you do get the plum. You do get a little bit of the chocolate if you're looking for it. Um, so yeah. The biggest thing is going to be all of that mix of spice and cassis and um, a little bit of that almost a tobacco-y feel or taste to it. So, um, and so it's a Merlot. It's it's kind of to be expected. So, um, I think that's most of what I have for you. Not super dry. It does have those aspects of dryness, but it doesn't linger. Um, it's mostly got that smoky, tobacco-y flavor to it. So, um, so from zero to five, zero being I never want to drink this again, and five being I want to drink this every day, I would probably give this one maybe a 2.5. It's definitely not bad, especially for a Merlot, right? It's, it's not going to be super sweet. If you like Merlots, give this one a try. I think that those of you who really enjoy Merlots are going to enjoy this one. So uh, if you have any questions, comments, or recommendations, feel free to drop those in the comments below. And I look forward to having a sip again with you soon.